in the dorms. Are the two back already? What do you mean the two? Midoriha and Bakugao? Who else? Everyone stared weirdly at Eureka who just arrived in the living room. Bakugao is out with him? Hey. I thought Midoriha went out alone. That's pretty weird. Well, he said he's going to the library. I wonder why Bakugao and him are together. And apparently going to the library. That's true. I never saw Bakugao go to the library. They must be Famina not this again. For God's sake, I've heard this theory hundreds of times now. I'll make it a thousand. I swear you really are something else. Queen? You meant some type of queen perhaps? Ida sighed and walked away from the living room. Bwahahaha <laughs> Ida is so done with me now oh my bleeping god I swear his face looks like he's having a menstruation without a spare tampon anymore oh my god help. LMAO lol how much did you tell Ida about your theory for him to look like he is in pain? Many times already I guess. I heard her squealing every time Bakugao and Midoriya are doing something sus. Not Momo learning that word from Mina's everyday vocabulary. You're really something. Hahaha <laughs> it wasn't like I'm squealing for nothing you know. Can't you see those two acting like a married couple every day? Sparkles where's the lie those sparkles? I know right. They all remembered the topic that they were talking about a few minutes ago, when Kurishima came running towards the door. He's panting. Holy sh- those two were seen fighting a while ago. What do you mean fighting? Sword fighting? Mina are you being for real right now oh my bleeping god. Agree though. Shut it girls. According to someone from the support team, he saw Bakugao and Mido throwing attacks at each other. He even told me that someone is bleeding. What? This is what I've been worried for. Shouldn't we be following them right now? Well, yeah but we should hurry before the teachers find them and put them to detention. I won't be able to eat without Midoriya around so let's go find them immediately. Pardon? Why can't you eat? Is he your daily food? I'm not a cannibal Mina. Jeffrey Dahmer is a cannibal though. And Albert Fish, then Boonhelm. Oh please, I don't wanna hear some bleep things today. Oh, sorry about that. What do you mean I'm eating Midoriya out though? That's it. That's the point. You're eating him out not literally okay? The hand gestures made almost everyone who saw it choke. How does it feel to lick the inside of that cone while covered in vanilla cream? This time, Todoroki got the point and his face was gradually covered with crimson. Ha Jirao. We're done talking about that time with him. You saw nothing did you? Of course I saw nothing. You were just eating your ice cream out. Well, personal ice cream. Todoroki covered her mouth before she could spit more words from that night that she saw them. It was too late though because everyone was already staring at them with flushed faces. Ahem. That sure was a great cream honestly. Yeah but you shouldn't try it. And why is that? It's mine. Too bad you ain't the only one who had it. What did you say Shinso? Never mind that. By the way I heard that you guys are looking for Midoriha and his dog. Well, I saw them heading to the forest just now. Oh. Let's go everyone. Hurry up before one of them could bleep the other one. You mean before one of them could bleep, Jiro stop. Midoriha and Bakugao's friends immediately headed towards the forest. They were only at the foot of the mountainous forest when they heard some sort of howling. Then lightning suddenly flashed reflecting an unusual color at the small puddles on the ground. Did you see that? Or was I imagining things? We need to hurry up. That's unusual, it must be some quirks effect. They departed at such a fast speed that made leaves duck as they passed through. Isn't that Midoriya? Everyone shoots their heads at Momo's location. They saw Midoriya, on the ground, looking vulnerable to some kind of pain. Are you okay Mido? Oh my god call the teachers right now and inform them about the situation. Oh no, call recovery girl so that you'll know in advance that we're heading there. Mina was in panic and everyone was shocked by the look on her face. I already informed the recovery girl before going here. You guys head back first, we'll look for Bakugao. We got it. Come back safely guys. We will. Take care on your way back. You're not going back. Bleep no, gotta look for my brother out there. 
I love Bakuho but I gotta follow me though he looked so bad. I can't let the day pass without knowing what happened. Lol for the tea maybe. Nah dude I ain't always after the tea you know. But when I'm some parts of me are telling me to go for the tea but no, I'll be a good friend. Yeah right, we believe you. They stopped talking when they saw an intense ball of impact accelerating at a godly speed. It's coming from the sky. What the bleep? Why the bleep did Bakugao fall down from the heavens when he's a bleeping devil? No one laughed. They're still staring at Bakugao, flabbergasted. Well, yeah, of course I should be focusing on Bakugao, yeah that's right. I wish Mina was here. I'm actually suppressing my laugh dude or else Midoriya's dog is gonna end me. Ha 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 you don't need to keep it man. I'll protect you if he attacks. Can you shut the bleep down earphones? We're trying to have a conversation here. Oh, sorry. I never knew you could make conversations. Did you say something? Do I look like I wasn't saying anything? You can't even be grateful for once lol ungrateful bastard. Calm down. Should have gone with the girls. The bleep is wrong with you? Really? TCH Moody is bleep. Talk about yourself. Punch me if you wanna. Stop spitting crap. What the bleep I would have already done that if I could stomach punching a friend on the face. TCH shut up then. Guys, stop it. Please. You two really are the new Kardashians. LMFAO I be really Kylie for selling cheap bleep things. You did not. Why would someone sell low end stuff? That's something someone with a black card won't understand. They continued to bicker until they finally noticed that Bakugao calmed down from the intense fall. So what happened? Bakugao clicked his tongue. Some weirdo pulled a trick on me. I was bleeping sucked upwards as if it was trying to toy on me like a dang yoyo. That bleepy little bleep dropped me like a fireball. I'm even shocked that I'm still alive despite not being able to use my quirk to slow down the acceleration. Was it done by person? I don't know, it's a light. The color looked like raccoon eyes, you could have just said pink you know. I feel weirdly bad for Mina for being compared to an unknown disaster. Wasn't she a disaster too? Anyway, that's all I could remember. Go to head back so bleep off already. Dang dude really didn't even think about Midoriya. Shut up. That nerd's the reason why this is happening. What do you mean? Bakugao did not answer and he just flew away from his friends. They were left confused by the last sentence of the blonde. Four hours later. Aren't you gonna visit Midoriya? For what? Are you nuts? For what you say? Dude, you literally said that he was, well, apparently, the reason why you were sent flying to the sky. Aren't you even a little bit concerned about the situation? What if the phenomenon reoccurs? Bakugao jolts his head towards Kirishima. What do you mean by that? I meant simply as what I've said. The disaster might happen again as long as it wasn't identified and solved. So what do you want me to do by saying that? Find out everything with Midoriya. Are you really bleeping nuts? Dude it is for the sake of both of you. Ugh bleep. Fine. That's unexpected. He was easier to convince that how he looked. Kinda weird honestly. In recovery girls clinic. Are you feeling okay now? How's your arm? It's better now I think. It's not half as bad as before. Thank you guys so much for taking care of me, though it was my fault, I've been careless. What do you mean by that? Um the thing is I was the reason why Kachin was dragged there as well. Hey. Was that why Bakugao said, Jirao covered his mouth. Oh. So he thought that way too. Midoriya's expression glooms. Jirao mouthed I told you to shut your big mouth to Kaminari. It wasn't your fault. Well. Even if you haven't told us what happened, we don't have the right to blame you in any way. You can tell us once you're ready. Just give us a call and we'll lend both ears to you. Jirao gave him a reassuring smile before getting up from her chair and fixing her coat. I think we should let Midoriya rest, everyone. Let's come back tomorrow, no, I think, I'm ready to tell you all. He gulped. There was a woman, he shifts his way to face the door when it creaks open which reveals a blonde guy whose crimson eyes are shooting glares at him. Kachin. What? 
I thought there was nobody around. Why didn't you tell me about that woman? He chuckled. Everyone is now confused. I was shocked. I wasn't even sure if there was a person in that incident since I only saw pink flashes around. I was alone in that area near the oak tree when those weird lights appeared. The lights wrapped a around my body and injured me. Then, before I passed out, it attacked again. The last thing I knew was you were being pulled upwards at an immense speed. Bakugao clenched his jaw, still can't put the pieces together. I was skeptical if there was really a person, until I received this. Bakugao's eyes widened but he didn't budge. Midoriya was holding a piece of paper, which when he opened, a letter was revealed. What's that? Did that person send you a threat? Todoroki snatched the letter away to inspect it. He reads it to their friends. I have seen everything that happened to you. There was one person who disappeared into the sky with a flash. I'm sorry that I couldn't help you after seeing such a situation. If you'll allow me, I'd be happy to help you out by sharing my knowledge of these situations with you. You can find me at Yagami Hano's Hut, 7909. You can bring your boyfriend. Sincerely, Hirani Sano. Bakugao's eyebrow twitched at the word. Boyfriend? Is that mothably sick? Why so in denial? Mina please, we're not in that kind of relationship. Yeah right. Midoriya sighed, looking so done with every assumption that Mina was making. Let's go everyone. Time for Midoriya's rest. Everyone left. Midoriya sighed, but he almost jumped off the hospital bed when Bakugao was pushed back in the room. Stay there together. You need to rest together. Are you kidding me? Raccoon eyes open this door. By love birds. Bleeping open the door I'm gonna bleeping destroy this. Calm down Kachin. There's still a spare bed behind that curtain. Besides, recovery girl advised us to stay together so you could get checked too. Bleep check up. I'd rather die than stay with you here. Is that so? Midoriya's head hung low, eyeing on his fidgeting knuckles. The sight made Bakugao click his tongue. Don't make a bleeping noise or else I'm gonna kick your bleep. Yeah sure. Rest well. The green haired boy was still confused about Bakugao's change of heart. Was it because he looked so down after hearing such a reply? I shouldn't be overthinking this. Kachin was definitely just following recovery girl's instructions to stay here. In the evening. Kachin wake up. We need to have our meal. He slightly pats Bakugao's shoulder. Midoriya was caught off guard when Bakugao pulled his arm, which was driving Midoriya to get on all fours on top of the blonde. Midoriya felt a shiver. Bakugao was still asleep. Midoriya was blushing hard. Why is he making those sounds? Ark, I hate my mind for diving in the gutters. What the bleep? Ra. Oh my bleeping god I, I I wasn't doing anything weird I swear. Bleep get off me, I wasn't a perv. Catch and I swear to all of the people WHO left me, including my dad, and to Kamisama, I did not do anything. I was just caught in a weird position. It was silent. Bakugao got up, strutting towards the door and shutting it. Midoriha was alone dumbfounded. Did he just laugh at me? Oh my god that was so embarrassing. Wait, I shouldn't be embarrassed. He was the one who pulled me closer. Bleep as if it was my fault. No way. Midoriya slapped his own cheeks. After dinner. In their own rooms. Midoriya is online. Sparkles what took you so long Midoriya? Got some cleaning done for your cheeks Sparkles. Cleaning? Oh, was my face still red during dinner? Why'd he clean his cheeks? Wait, are you okay Midoriya? Did you hurt your cheeks? No it's not that. Sparkles the other cheek sparkles. Oh. I do not want to comment. <laughs> Why? Refrain from saying inappropriate words guys. Someone might be uncomfortable by now. It's fine. Thank you Ida.
appreciate it. No problem just tell me if things get out of hand, I'll gladly send them off to detention. Oh god, Ida got that detention riz. Dang punish me daddy. Lumfeo um, you simps are done. You wait till my father hears about this. No way why do you keep shipping us? There is obviously Midoriya. And you? Are you into Mido? Stop it guys. Are you into him? Um no. He's a friend of buddy a homie. Uh huh. So Shinso is the only one who likes Mido. It's absurd that you'd make the fact that he likes Mido as an excuse for you to deny your feelings. Yeah yeah I got it. Don't shove the idea that he ain't into me more. Oh sorry but love ya. Yeah. Well, that was a whole confession. I didn't know you like Shinso. So by the way about the letter things at Midoriya back your gal. Are you gonna meet the guy tomorrow? Well, yes I guess. I've got no choice. We've been being targeted since the forest incident yesterday. I've been having nightmares and unlucky incidents. Though they are small incidents, like getting stuck in the washing machine, and falling over someone, accidentally splitting on the bed and stuff. What the bleep? That's... sus. For real for real I thought I was reading a dirty fic for a sec. Made my pussy drip. Jiro please. Damn. Is this still even a GC anymore? Looks like you're sexting or some. My demons won today I'm sorry. OMG you'll help dixt. I'm being sucked. What the bleep? In somewhere feels widths. I'm coming. Faster please OMG HH. Bleep. Oh, this is sexting for real. Midoriya getting sucked in somewhere be like. Back at Gaia ride in Midoriya's room. Bleep why did I even sprint towards here? The bleep am I doing? Oh I nerd. Aren't you gonna open this? Don't expect that he is opening this. He said he was getting stuck somewhere right? TCH why are you here? I could ask you the same. Stay out of the way I'm opening the door. You go outside the house to guard the window in case the criminal plans to abduct Midoriya. The bleep are they abducting him for? Just do it back you gal. Remember that you two are quite intertwined by the incident so this one could affect you as well. Todoroki paused, realizing something. What? That made me realize that you should stay indoors. I'll go outside while you enter his room. Are you treating me like some kind of kid? No, just do as I say. Todoroki left. As soon as Bakugao entered the room, he saw Midoriya panting at the corner of his room. Oh I what the bleep just happened? He did not reply. Deku. Bleep I swear to god you're such a pain in the bleep. Oh I. Half and half get your bleep here and help this nerd. 20 minutes later. Oh my god thank you so much Todoroki for calming me down oh my god. It's fine. Are you feeling okay now? Wait. I'll get you water outside. I'm feeling a bit better now. And yeah I'd be glad for some water. Todoroki went outside and Bakugao came closer. Are you and half and half a thing? That's hella cheesy if you were to ask me. Midoriya blushed. We are friends. Nothing weird in between us. They are sitting on Midoriya's bed when a book produces an excruciating amount of pink light. Kakachan, am I seeing things? Bleep this light again and bleep no, you're not seeing things Deku. Before they knew it, they were both sucked in by the pink light. Then, throwing them both to the ground in an unfamiliar land. K.A. Kachin. Are you okay? Where are you? It was quiet and only the chirps of birds were present. It was a forest, a pink forest. Hello? Is anyone there? Midoriya walked towards something that he believed was a path to a clear road. This is so so scary. Holy cow. What if some kind of weird animal attacks me here and eats me? What if some group of magical beings abduct me? And chop me into pieces so they could fill themselves for a month? What if someone covered his mouth and dragged him on the ground full of dried pink leaves? Kakakachin? Why? Oh my holy Maryland I thought I was gonna get killed. Ha bleep Deku. For Pete's sake. Think before you spit something out of your pretty mouth. Didn't you know that you were mumbling dangerous bleep earlier? This is a bleeping unknown land for us. You could have got yourself killed, or the both of us. Midoriya's breathing started to calm down after realizing that it was Bakugao that he was really with. 
He's safe. I'm sorry. I was really just scared to death. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. Get your bleep working to find the way back. They both strut forward while being wary and alert of the surroundings. Catch and look. What? It's a house. A small house. Can you see it? Of course bleep us. And it's not a house. It's a hut for effin sake. Oh. Haha <laughs> sorry about that. Dang it and your non-stop unnecessary apologies. Stop talking or I'll shove your face right here. Yee yes. They headed towards the hut. They saw a name engraved on its door. Yagami Hano's hut. 7909. Doesn't it look familiar? I think I heard this place somewhere before. Do you have an idea Kachin? Yeah, it's the one that half and half read about. We're definitely stuck in some weirdo's place now don't ya think? Yikes. What do we do now? Face whoever the enemy is. We've got no choice here. 30 minutes later. What took you so long to arrive you to? What the bleep are you saying? What is this about mister? Do we know you? Do you know us? Obviously, he knows us you god bleep I'd bleep. He wouldn't abduct us this easily if he's got no info about our bleeping lives. Yo yo chill right there young man. He cleared his throat. I did not abduct you nor no information about you too. I just brought you here so I can share my knowledge just as promised. The two looked at each other, then quickly averting gazes away. Your, your what? My knowledge. Don't tell me you don't remember, oh god. How could you forget someone who offered you help to solve your misery? Hey. Are you the guy from the letter? OMG no way. Yes way dear. Now, take a seat in front of me so I can begin the discussion. Oh yeah, by the way, since you forgot, I am here Rani Sano. The owner of this magical village, and a lecturer of young wizards. Wizard, what? What the bleep is even that? Is this some Harry Potter or kinda bleep? Oh, don't be so sarcastic dear. Even if the community is unknown in the hero's society, we still exist. We do the duty of saving under the unexplainable phenomena which were out of control. That sounds really amazing. Well, thank you for saving the ones we couldn't. Discuss already. Ahem so as what I have mentioned in the letter, I saw everything. I'll get to the point, someone from the other universe is affecting your life because of their hardships. Because of their what? Hardships. Believe it or not, a person in that universe is currently struggling with their self-esteem. Well, I don't particularly know what insecurity there has, but I'm sure that it's something normal for us but abnormal in their society. So does that mean we should interact with this person in order to help them cope? So that we can end this misery? That's right. And it's not only you'll interact, I'm afraid you will also have to live this person's fantasy. What in the bull, Kachin? TCH you actually believe this weirdo? You're bleeping weird. Shut up. You're not helping. I heard. The man opened a letter, which appears like it was from another wizard, and animated objects started to cast on the paper. Who's that person? Observe it carefully. According to a fellow of mine, there was a powerful being in a universe called Barbie Land. This being was an author, nerd, famous person in their society for being peculiar. That exactly sounds like Deku to me. That was all the information I know so far and it's quite impossible to dig more without any connection from that land. Don't you have any idea what their peculiar trait might be? That must be the reason why it's affecting us. Something similar to humans. There's no hope in discovering such absurd things. This is all horseshit after all. There's no hope unless we find one. What are you saying? That's right. Oh mother of Christ, perhaps I can help you have a portal to that place by visualization. Oh right. Let's try that. God please help me. Three hours later. What the bleep is going on? Catch and let's go find that person. No can do we're gonna have fun first. Oh yeah. To the beach. 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 Why are these eyed bleeps even here for devil's sake? Let them be Kachin. I guess we can continue the hunt tomorrow. Ugh, do what you want, and why the bleep are you Barbie instead of a Ken? The bleep is this psychotic idea? I don't know too actually. 
And I kinda turned into someone else. He blushed. What do you mean someone else? You still look like the goddamn nerd. Just some weird bleep long hair. That's it. You're right. Oh Jesus sake. I almost revealed that my Jenna bleepia has changed. Well, I'm still me overall except that my thing was replaced. Deku Kun, come on. Dive in the water with us. Do you know how to swim mid -rire? Ugh, for evil Lucifer's sake, why is half and half even here too? Is that so wrong? Bleep shut up. I don't wanna see your faces. He walked away, feeling done with everything. Let him be Todoroki. Let's go with the girls. Okay, go on ahead, I'll take my shirt off first. Oh girls, close your eyes. Why ha 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 why is Todoroki so buff in this world? Buff what? He's so daddy. What the bleep is that? ARA talking grapes? Holy cow is that Moneta? Oh yes baby I am. No way I'm mortified. Sparkles when you can't fit into a Ken or a Barbie so you become a grape instead sparkles. Are you insulting me? At least I am not a factory of cheese. Sparkles at least I'm not as cheap as a leftover grape sparkles. At least I have a decent height sparkles at least I have a decent height sparkles. Now, now, stop fighting. Here, have some cocktails and cool your heads. Kaminari? Yes baby what's up? I am doing fine. I thought you're not here oh my god is that Karishima? How do you know my friend's pretty lady, dude, I think that's Midoriya. Why are you hitting on him? Midoriya what? Ha 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 it's actually me. And my appearance did not change that much you know? Everyone looked at him in quite disbelief. What do you mean you haven't changed? You look different. For real though and you look extra gorgeous. Jiro. Ahem. By the way they're right. Um your whole vibe became feminine. I thought you were a girl for a sex so how could you say that? I besides, who told you that you haven't changed a bit? Bakugou elbowed Karishima to shut up. Oh I guess we gotta go huh? See you at the rest house. Oh by the way girls, I got invited to a night out with Barbies here. Wanna come? Yeah, time to get laid with them ladies. Laid what? Jiro I swear to god you're making me blush a little too much. Oh, really? Should I do this too? No. Wow kakakakak. In the evening. My gosh, look at her butt. Holy mother of sins I'm gay as bleep. Let's go by. Go to fish all the guys and milk their wallets empty. They walk towards the venue and everyone's already having fun. Oh my god. Everyone's looking at you Madobi. Dang the look on the guy's eyes are everything lol. I only love guys in Barbie land they're kind as bleep. Didn't you love middle That was before omg he's my ride or die now and a bestie for life. That's right. Though I still blush all the time remembering how I was able to make such a nice girl fall for me. Hey gorgeous. Wanna grab a treacle tart with me? Oh. The guy was tall, tanned, and his blue eyes were matching perfectly with his blue hair. Go get with him. We'll be sitting in the jacuzzi. You gon' swim? No, just chat with hot guys there. You already got one so have fun. The girls left. The blue head can continuously chat middle eye, though not in an annoying way. Your piercings are amazing. You think so? I'm glad you liked it. He smiled. You know what? I've had my eyes on you ever since you started living in the neighboring penthouse. What? You're my neighbor? Yeah? You don't know at all? I'm kinda hurt ha ha ha. Oh, is that Ken? It's weird hearing them say the same name, but what's weirder was seeing someone mid a knows from the real world. Oh, who do we have here? 